Where, where'd my triple tail go? See, I, mean, I ain't seen weeds out like this for ever, man. It's been, it's been years. How are these, uh, how you been spotting them? Under the sorry guys and they're brown color and they're just sitting perfectly upright. When they're sitting off the sargasm, just swimming around, they're on their sides, like a goldish looking color. And uh, whenever it's a little bit rough like today, when the waves are crushing over them, you, you see that silvery flash and it just lights them up like a reflector. Can't take my eyes off these weeds. Now what a triple tail does, they'll come and they'll lay on their side and they look like a, a big leaf. And it's kind of their camouflage, so when something swims by, they can attack it really quick. You know what Jimmy Ross calls these fish, right? What? Saltwater Oscars. <laughs> Saltwater Oscars. Well, they look a lot like an Oscar, but believe they... it or not, there is not one fish that is related to a triple tail. There are species all indigenous to themselves. Right here. All right. He's right under that patch right there. All right, I'm just going to let us drift, all right? Nice fish. I don't see him. He's right here. Should I put it in reverse? No, just hold it. This one is just gonna be too easy. Come on, Blair. He's going down on it. I got us in reverse. There he is, nice. baby! Nice! He don't even know he's hooked yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, he disappeared from sight. Oh! He pulled off right He's there. right there, get another shrimp. I'll tell you where we are <laughs> and who we're with in just a second. A I still bit. see him, he's straight ahead. You still got him? Yeah, still right up here. He's, it was 12 o'clock, he's in that shadow. Like straight 12 o'clock. He was swimming on the surface. They're right here, right here, right here. Oh, he's turned. He turned on it. He's going to it. He's going on it. <laughs> Let him swallow it. There. <laughs> well, at first you don't succeed, try, try again. <laughs> well, while he's out of sight right now, we're fishing off Cape Canaveral right now. We got Captain Jamie Glasner with us. And the targeted species today is on the end of my line, which is nice triple tail out of Port Canaveral. Largest triple tail in the world come out of here. That's a nice triple tail right there. That's, that's a very nice that's trip. That's probably at least a 12 pounder, I'd say. Well, the new rods are working good. You know what I love about triple tail, Jamie? You What's never that? know how they're gonna fight. Yeah, like, exactly. You know, whether they're gonna come up and jump, run straight down to the bottom like this guy did. You know, these things have no natural predators. I was reading that earlier. Really? Uh, other than sharks, you know, sharks will come up and take bites out of them, but. Yeah, what about, the most, what about barracuda? No, nah, for the most part, they're too spiny. I did not know that. Oh, well, you're under the boat, now I'm gonna have to come yeah, around. Yeah, 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 I got the motor in reverse too. All right. Whoop, come back around this side. You want me just going neutral? Uh, yeah. All right. Whew. I think this one here can pretty much go in the uh, the box. Well, <laughs> we gonna feed everybody triple tail tonight? I'm ready. I had triple tail last night. I'm ready for it again tonight. All right, you ready? Yeah. Well, he ain't. He goes straight down here. He is right below us. Are right, you ready for me to net him? Well, we don't have to get all that weed in there. That's already on the. There we go. All right. Oop, here we go. And one triple tail down, buddy. Nice, man. Sick. Good job on that one. Let me show you something on these triple tail, guys. If you're ever out here catching them, you gotta be very, very careful with a triple tail because they have gill plates worse than a snook. And I'm gonna think he's gonna have to keep that one. Yeah. But yeah, they have, oh, there he goes. They have gill plates that are 10 times worse than a snook. He's just holding on to it now. Yeah. There you go. But let me show you these gill plates right here. Those right there are razor sharp all the way around to the cheek. And if you do like triple tail or if you like grouper cheeks, these are the best cheeks you'll ever get out of a fish. 
But that right there is a triple tail main target today. On kind of a rough day right off Port Canaveral. Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back with Jamie Glasner, triple tail in Port Canaveral. There he is. Boom. There he is. Nice one there, brother. <laughs> no, they love triple tail fishing, man. You gotta love it. What time is it, Jamie? 11 o'clock. Prime time. Time to get it done. That's one thing about triple tail fishing. You don't have to get out here at the crack of dawn because it's 99% sight fishing. You gotta wait till the sun gets up above your head like this and get these beautiful weed lines. You just spot them and cast and catch. Now I was saying we were out here the other day, Jamie, and there was not one weed out here. And you'd see one triple tail that was laying on his side and you could spot him because he was that gold color. Just looked like a gold leaf sitting out there. Oh, yeah. But you'd look underneath him and there'd be six or seven underneath him. It was, it was cool. I'd never seen him like that without any floatsum around. It's like a buffet. Which one do I want to catch? <laughs> Which one do I invite home for dinner? Oh yeah, I say invite them all. Or should I say which two? <laughs> yeah. Because recreational is a limit of two. They gotta be at least 15 inches. There's no upper slot limit of these fish, but recreational, you can only keep two. But they are fun to catch and release all day long like this. And I believe they gotta be 15 inches too. Yep, 15 inches. Swimming right at us, Jamie. Reverse? I'm in reverse right now. Hope y'all can see, oh, there's two of them there. Get them. All right, he's going to it. Come on, come on. There he is. Boom. There he is. That's a nice one there, brother. <laughs> no, they love triple tail fishing, man. You gotta love it. Oh, a little airborne. A little airborne triple tail again. We did that in St. Augustine, man. They would jump every time we hooked them. On the virgin ground. The virgin ground. <laughs> Well, it's definitely virgin today. I haven't seen this many weeds up in so long. Look, there's two more bright beyond him. Jeez, you got another rock? Yeah, there's one with a DOA shrimp. Right there, you got him? Right there? Yeah, I got him. Oh, yeah, they're gonna eat that. You watch them. Good oh. shot. Oh, there he is. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> a double, triple tail. <laughs> Was that yours there? That's yeah, that's mine right there. Okay, <laughs> little guy. Coming around. Gotta let Jamie catch one every once in a while. He's <laughs> in a real bad mood. <laughs> I don't think I've ever uh, caught a fish with you, actually. Really? No, the last show we did, uh, I pretty much just told you all day. Well, that was a good job for you then. <laughs> <laughs> was that the gold? Uh, yeah, the gold, gold, gold glitter. I'll tell you what, these new rods are pretty sweet, actually. Hold on, we don't want to get wrapped. Oh, I'm over here. I'm going to go ahead and net yeah, my fish. Yeah, grab him. This one will be ready about the time you are. Can you multitask that one or you want me to help you? I think I can multitask this one here. <laughs> and there's one in the net. One. <laughs> All right, come on. Want me to just net both of them? Yeah, put them both in there. That's another good one there, Blair. Yeah, he sounded too. Mine's a little bit smaller. There he comes. Coming right to you. All right. Bring them right on get in. Both of them in there. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can't beat that, huh? No, you can't beat that. There we go. Yep. There we go, baby. Two in the net. Two in the net. Is that a pretty side or what? That's awesome. Awesome triple tail. You know, Port Canaveral, I was reading about this earlier about triple tail. And uh, Port Canaveral is one of the main places. And up in Georgia, right on the Florida line up there. They like to breed up there in like April. But uh, that was from the internet this morning, so if anybody's got any more, you can tell me. Yeah, this one here got a little bite out of him. See that perfect little shark bite right there, but he uh, he got a hold of those spines right there in the top of his mouth, I bet, and said, no, <laughs> I think I'll go find a mullet. <laughs> well, that's a nice one. That's a good one. I think since this one here was a little... God, he hopped on this DOA yeah. like crazy. Since he was a little beat up, I think we're gonna let him go. Mr. Gold Shrimp. Or not. Uh, I'm it's, hungry. That's up to you. I'm hungry. You're hungry. Yep. I like those cheeks there. <laughs> well, y'all stay tuned. We're gonna be right back. With some more triple tail right here in Port Canaveral. It's kind of, a, kind of a rough day, but the wind's laying down. Four footers are going away. 
I think it's gonna be a good day. What do you think? I think it's gonna be a great day on these virgin grounds right here. Awesome. Just stay tuned, we'll be right back. Let's go then. Oh, he's on it. <laughs> Look at that. Let me say it. Let me oh! oh! Get another shrimp. Backside of these shoulders are a little bumpy, ain't they? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, welcome back, folks. We've uh, been around searching the weed lines. I actually went out and tried the buoy line. It was a little rough out there, so we're back on the inside now, just searching out these little patches of weeds, and that's where these triple tail are hanging. So we are going to try to show you another one right now. We got one right up here on this weed right here. You got him, Jamie? Yeah. Get him. Looks like a good one. Oh, he's on it. <laughs> Look at that. Let he just ate it. Let him eat it. Oh! oh! Get another shrimp. I can't, you know, even I cannot resist trying to set the hook with a circle hook. <laughs> he's gonna say, man, I ain't leaving this. I keep getting all these shrimp swimming up to me and then this guy's just feeding them. Here he comes to it. Oh man, he just popped that. I was gonna try to tease him right up here. <laughs> Dude, he was all over that thing. You wanna just throw the D away? Yeah. There he is. Give me a D away, brother. <laughs> That's nice. You can tell we're on the shoals now, and it's a little bit bouncy. Been searching, I don't know, for about an hour with nothing. Oh, there he is. You never know what direction these fish are gonna go when you hook them, whether it's up, down, in the air, or they'll run parallel to the top of the water. There's one thing about them, they're about the tastiest fish that you've ever had, if you've never had one of these. Woo! I remember my first one I ever caught, Jamie, was off the Canaveral Pier. Yeah. I forgot how old I was. Is he about almost ready for that net? He's getting there. On that side, I'll bring him around. Yep, yep, I'm ready. Come on, dude, and that's a triple tail done, baby. Nice one. Net, now that's had triple tail fish. Unbelievable. On DUA. That nice works, job, huh? man. That works. After we uh, fed him three yeah, shrimp. He's, he's got a real fat belly now. <laughs> dude, he swallowed that thing. I think he's gonna keep that one. Yeah, I'll grab your rod. But that, my friends, is a perfect triple tail. Look, he has not one scar on him. No, no sharks this time. Been out there a little deeper. Like I say, I always watch that gill plate. And let me show you all one thing here real close. I've, I've had comments of, on the show, people saying, oh, you stuck your fish, your finger in that fish's gills. But every time what I'm doing is I'm coming up on the bottom side of the gill plate right there, and I'll come right through their mouth where you don't want to stick your finger if you're going to release these fish is right through the gills. I've seen that many times and they'll really start bleeding on you. But uh, with that right there is the perfect specimen of a triple tail. Not the giants we're after yet, but uh, that one there will do. If you notice this lateral line right here, every fish has that and they use that to feel shrimp or whatever they're trying to eat. If it jumps in the water, they can feel the vibration and that's the lateral line they use. A snook has it and they're most defined with a snook because they got that big black line that runs down them. But that's a tasty one there, boy, I bet. Oh, it's gonna be good on the grill. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned, we're gonna be right back with some more addictive fishing and hope this wind lays down just a little bit. Whew. Good job, nice brother. I see him. Nice. I see him right on the end of my line. <laughs> nice, man, on the DOA. On that's the DOA, baby. Rig it right by Wright and McGill. 
On today's Rig It Right, I'm gonna show you what Captain Jamie had me throwing out on today's episode. The new Laser Troke car hooks by Eagle Claw. The sharpest hooks I've ever used in my life. And if you notice one thing on today's show, I was throwing the circle hook and with a triple tail, they really don't run away from you real fast in order to have the hook set like a circle hook is supposed to work. What they'll do is they'll suck the bait in real quick and if they feel anything foreign at all, they'll spit it right back out. So that's why I had a DOA shrimp ready behind me and made him go get that shrimp and you saw what happened then. So let me show you the bait I was using and this one happens to be what I call my confidence lure. It's the gold gold glitter and it absolutely is the most realistic looking shrimp I've ever thrown in my entire life. And the rod I was using out there today, both live bait and throwing that DOA, the 7.6 Gen 2 Flats Blue by Wright McGill. Had it rigged up with a 3500 size Sabalos reel, was using 15 pound excess braid, along with some 20 and 30 pound cigar fluorocarbon. Kind of changed the leader up a little bit with the size fish. There was some stuff out there floating around that could have nicked the line up. So we just changed it up and had a lot of fun. If y'all ever get around to the Space Coast and have a chance to fish with Captain Jamie Glasner, highly suggest doing it, a lot of fun. Great kid, he knows a lot about the waters out there. But remember one thing, every season starts right here at Dick's. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. What do you think about all these white caps, brother? Yeah, it's getting pretty bad out here. Well, we got a follow and see on the way home. You think we can get one more? Yeah, we can get one more. At least it'd be a smooth ride on the way in. Yeah, it's only three miles out. <laughs> only. We'll give it a shot. Hopefully it won't get too bad between now and then. We just gotta find one. Find the right one. There's one right here, right here, free swimming. Yep. All right. So I can get him to come away. Nice one, don't, don't put it in gear. I'm not, we're in your reverse still. He just turned on it. He's on, he's turning on, I see him. Still seeing Blair? Yeah. I see him. Nice. I see him right on me into my lunch. <laughs> nice, man, on the DOA. <laughs> Oh, that's, the DOA, baby. That's what? One, two, three, four fish today on DOA. Yeah. That's awesome. This ain't a bad one either. He still don't know what's going on yet. Here, yeah, I'm just going to leave us holding in reverse. Goes. He just figured out something happened to him. Like, ooh, that shrimp stings, baby, stings. <laughs> one thing you might notice a little bit different with this show is I'm using the flats blue rods, but it's white right in here right now. It's the generation two. Got a little bit more PTO fibers in them, a little bit stronger stick, and it is doing the job on the triple tail today. I think this one here is the seven two. No, this is seven six. Oh man, you gotta love triple tail fishing. I used to do this as a kid, come out here. You about ready? Yeah. All right. Oh, let me get him turned. Rock and roll, baby, rock and nice. roll. Nice. Put him right up here on the deck. Nice. That's a nice one. Yeah. It's a good What eight, a beautiful 10 pounder. fish. You know, I, uh, I used to come out here all the time and catch these. It's a good one for the dinner table. Yes, sir, that is a fine specimen on a windy day. Oh, yeah, it is. We got a gold, gold glitter shrimp. Gets the job done. Now, Jamie, I'll tell you what, we can stay out here as long as you want, but I think these waves are going to force us in here a little bit. Yeah, it's picking up pretty bad. Y'all need to come book Jamie and come get you some of these right here. If y'all ever get the chance, he's out right out of Cocoa Beach. You can look him up on the internet. What's your yeah. website? It's uh, finandflycharters.com. Finandflycharters.com. Awesome day out here. It's been kind of windy, but uh, when the triple tail are here, if he says they're here, you better get out here and fish with him because he'll definitely put you on them. Don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com. That's about it, brother. Yeah, but man. We'll see you next week. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to addictivefishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. And, oh, I tried to set the hook on him. Look him up in the yellow pages? Uh, not in the yellow pages anymore, just the internet. <laughs> Is that how it goes? That's how it goes. <laughs> Come on, come on. Thump. He ate it. <laughs>
Oh, oh God. God. 